Hello! <laughs> it's another gig vlog time and Dave's being creepy once again. My gig vlogs are basically all just what creepy thing is Dave doing in the background in the intro or outro this time? <laughs> Does anyone like John Doe's glasses? Yeah, my new persona, Flowing Mullet. <laughs> Flowing Mullet, the Welsh man. <laughs> <laughs> Flowing Mullet. Flowing Mullet from the valley, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> That's what we're saying, it was. We'll add C to the end. <laughs> Flowing Mullet. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, today's gig, I wasn't actually going to gig, gig vlog perfect. today, but um, I thought I would because it's quite an important gig. So we're supporting Chantelle McGregor and we're playing in a theatre, which I've never played in in my life. So that's quite an interesting thing for me and sort of a big gig for us. So it should be quite fun. <laughs> Mr. Clock O'Dyer, would you mind if I death row you? <laughs> uh, I really think we need to have more fun before before our game. Yeah, we need to have more fun. Apparently, we'll relax a bit more. <laughs> anyway, yeah. We're supporting Chantal McGregor at the Riverhead Theatre in Laos. So my first theatre gig, Dave's second theatre gig, John and millions. John Joe's millionth theatre gig. Trillion. Trillion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bazillion. <laughs> Gazilli Gazilli Rillion. I don't even make it up. Crocodilion. 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 <laughs> It's a new number. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoy. No idea how much I'm going to be able to film beforehand of the gig because it's quite a strict thing, but I wanted to try and gig vlog it because it's quite a... It seems quite strict so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, judging by the start of this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've even got my gran and granddad and my mum and dad are all coming and they're staying in the hotel just near Dave's mm -hmm. and they're on the bottom floor of the hotel so when I walk past I can see them. <laughs> If we get a dressing room, I'm smashing it all. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to smash it up. No? I, I hope there's a rider. What, oh, what did yeah. you demand? Did you demand anything? Uh, all, oh, only, the, only the brown m and <laughs> <laughs> Did you just feel what he said? Yeah. <laughs> what even was that? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> anyway. Right. I love how you're just as <laughs> exact and same on your vlog as you are normally. That's what you're like, well, like it, you, and, you and Dave. Yeah, yeah, normal, we're, yeah we're, we're just the exact same in videos to as we are in real life. I'm not. <laughs> no, Dave, Dave's not, apparently. He's, a, he's got a persona. <laughs> yeah, Dave's, Dave's got a persona. <laughs> <laughs> different to our normal venue. Yeah, we have to go in the back way. <laughs> There's actually water. curtains. Yeah, John Doe's Beast water bottle. <laughs> Accurate. Not your average gig entrance. This is the front of the Are they stage. From, um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I'm vlogging now, everyone's vlogging. It's vlog time. So we've just sound checked and it sounds amazing on stage. So that's my setup. And this is what it looks like if you can actually see that. Three vlogs going all at the same time. Really, really cool uh, to actually be able to do this. So, so as usual, using the Ashdown ABM 600. Uh, to exotic Ibanez Sound Gear SR 700 and uh, Anaconda Crusher CX and then the mothership and this is my view okay I am ready I'm in a silver surfer outfit today so I've got to be very quiet now this is my pre-gig ritual. Chandra's having a warm up. Cool. I'm guessing the camera's significantly more shaky right now than it was earlier. We're about 20, 10 minutes from going on stage. You can see people arriving. Good evening. So we're the Dave Simpson Trio, we are the uh, four acts tonight. So uh, I hope you enjoy what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, mostly our own songs. We are going to do uh, two covers, just uh, throw them in there that you'll hear from Wilmo. Can I take my glasses off? That's not rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do it. Oh yes it is. Anyway, the first song is called The Pheasant. I hope you enjoy this. Very happy pheasant. <laughs>
Thank you very much indeed. Are you all right, Alma? Good. Very much so. Thank you very much indeed. I'm on stage with two of my best friends playing music. How could I not be okay? See more than your friend. So I followed you back to that place.
I'm going to explain this. I'm going to make them believe that it was you.
Right, we've just got off stage and that was literally one of my favourite gigs I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think it went? Amazing. Oh, I've just rubbed dirt on my face. Uh, John has got a, a, a dirty Fil hammer from a dirt down. patch. Yeah, there's the dirt patch. Yeah, he hasn't been amazing. rolling around in it, he's just... He was I have. I'm about to. I have. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? So good. So good. Megatastic. Some would say it was unsheathed. Unsheathed. Oh, <laughs> Return of the unsheathed. He started again. Unsheathed. unsheathed. Totally. Totally. Unsheathed. 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 <laughs> it's like a barbershop thing. <laughs> unsheathed. 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 That was beautiful. That was it was. Good. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, and that is like one of those things that put I it into would go words, back and do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That that was literally. You had I, to. You should have been there. there. Yeah, you, you should have been, been here. If you weren't here, where were you? Yeah. Where were you? Well, yeah. Watch it later. Yeah. Watch it later on the YouTube. <laughs> It's not the same, man. Not, not the same. <laughs> you won't be able to hear the bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't hear the bass. Can't hear the bass. Oh, this, the sound was amazing as well. It was. Like, everything was bob on. Like, I had no struggle. I had no trouble hearing any of it. it was a struggle. Yeah. It was just like, yeah, this is easy. It just literally just e ease back and just play. Yeah. We're on it as well, it. weren't we? Really confident from the start. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. It was powerful, but controlled. It wasn't like manic. Like so, yeah. Okay. It was literally perfect. I knew it was going to be good. We knew it'd be totally unsheathed. In fact, I knew what you were going to say. Yes, and so you should. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> got a, no uh, words, just. Got a mask in there, You know, you're recording. I am. I can't see a thing <laughs> through these stupid things. Something's coming. <sighs> That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> I think uh, it's a pretty good look for us all. I think next time we should go on stage like. Uh, Defo. Like <laughs> oh, it's Dave. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure if they're still here, the Dave Simpson trio. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant people. Just. Come on, let's go. Right. When we got here, they came, and because because Tom had to come at late, so I'm like, I don't know how to set a drum kit up. I want to have a flipping clue. I was like, take them out of the boxes. I called silver things sticks, but apparently they're not called sticks. They're the wooden things that you hit things with. I thought the metal things that stuck out were sticks. Anyway, it don't matter. So, absolute hero, um, John Joe from the Dave Simpson band, set up Tom's kit, sound checked it with us, and we had a little jam, which was really good fun. And just 
We're so grateful, like beyond belief. So thank you so much. And huge thank you to all three of them because they're lovely people and so talented. So buy their stuff and support them. Thank you so much. Quietly, just in case. <gasps> I broke my guitar stand. But, but. Rock and roll, man. <laughs> Did you even do a gig if something isn't broken? No. I have to fix that like I fixed the other side. <laughs> That's my mum and my gran and my granddad and my dad. Right, it's really early in the morning, especially for a day after that gig. But I've just walked down because it's a really nice morning and uh, I'm going to see my parents and grandparents in the hotel that they're staying at, which is here. I just uh, took my shoes off and put them at the side of the sofa only to find that my dad had already had the exact same idea. <laughs> like father, like daughter. Tea and coffee making facilities. <laughs> This is for Dave. Milak made. <laughs> These are all the off-brand things. This isn't General Zucro. <laughs> this is Tate Lyle. Brown sugar. <laughs> What's this? Ne oh, Nest Cafe Original. Well, it's not Travelodge, is it? Here comes my dad. <laughs> you see that at night. <laughs> Such a bad <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a bedtime story right now in the morning. Um, so this hotel used to be an orphanage and after that it was an old people's home. And apparently all of the old people kept complaining that there was children running around and there shouldn't be and that they kept hearing them laugh and they were keeping them awake. And um, last night my mum was too scared to look in this mirror because it reminds her of an exact one she saw an old lady standing in. So that's already creepy. And but I, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't the old lady. Yeah, mum wasn't the old lady. <laughs> Yet. Um, but then, then my gran, um, who was also stopping here, heard some weird like rattling, banging sound, wasn't it? like a door handle rattling around <laughs> she's just told the story perfectly but she's too shy to actually tell it on the camera so i'm just looking at her sign language trying to actually tell this <laughs> but anyway so it, it was a door handle rattling apparently so that's freaky and she didn't know the story of this place so yeah that was <laughs> That's something. Right, it is the morning, but not really, not the, morning really the morning after the gig. It's now about 4 pm the next day because I got up at around 8, went to visit the hotel that my parents are staying in, and then went to the beach with them. And now I'm absolutely knackered, but it was worth it. And um, that gig was literally one of, if not the best gig I've ever done. That was like one of my favourite gigs ever. And to do it with uh, Dave and John Joe just made it. So, um, if you can hear clanking around, that's Likewise. Dave. Likewise. No. There was one moment where Dave came up to me and, like, put his head on my shoulder while we were playing and just went, ah! <laughs> and the feeling was completely mutual. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm going to um, upload the full gig as well at some point. So, it'll probably be the week after this comes out. So... If you're watching this on the day it comes out, <laughs> it, will, it will be up uh, next Saturday, so a week from now. Unless you're watching this in the future, far in the future, then it's already out. But yeah, I put a couple of songs in and then whole gig will be uploaded in one go. Uh, I'll probably cut out, we did two covers, which I may or may not have to cut out. But other than that, the entire thing should be on there. But... That was just an amazing experience and hopefully we'll get to do many more of those because oh, that was awesome. So recommend us to your local theatres, please. Um, but the response we got from the crowd was amazing. I, I, I didn't expect as good of a response as we got, but it was like quite, <laughs> quite overwhelming, the, the noise of it. When I'm on stage at like 
at gigs, I don't tend to hear the crowd because my brain just kind of focuses and weirdly kind of filters it out. And I think that's almost like a protection and concentration thing. But there was a point when we finished our set that, um, and in between certain songs where I did kind of take notice of what was going on and it was quite an overwhelming sound. Mm. And, especially yeah. at the end. Yeah, especially at the end. Uh, the, the cheer we got, well, you'll hear it on the video, especially uh, when I upload the full gig footage as well, at the very end. Yeah, amazing response. So if you were there, thank you so much for all your support. It really does mean the world to us, like literally the world to us. So thank you. And also, of course, thank you to everyone watching on YouTube as well. I know some of you couldn't make it or are unable to for whatever reason. Uh, but thank you for your support. Um, massive, massive thank you to Chantal McGregor for having us. Um, she was absolutely awesome. And it was a really great experience. Thank you to Steve as well, the promoter, for putting us on the bill. Absolutely awesome. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this gig vlog and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, if you do enjoy this video also, I have a Patreon which I'll put a link to down in the description. Also, I'm on Bandcamp, so if there's ever any jams you hear in videos, they may or may not be on there. If you hear one you like and it's not on there, just give me a shout and I can try and upload it. So yeah, see you next time. Bye. And uh, now I will do a magic trick. Morning. <laughs> Now we need the legs. <laughs> but how did I do it? Let's <laughs> right, see ya. Later. That's you now. <laughs>